Welcome to the November Carry Roundup, the series where we take a look at what's making news in the world of carry. There's a lot of new releases this week from a lot of our favorite brands, so we're gonna whip through them at breakneck speed. But first, hello, my name is Roland from Rush Faster, and at Rush Faster, we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. If you want more of that in your life, then like, subscribe, bell, newsletter, Let's get stuck into it. Craig Hill has dropped the Aris Sling and the Caro Pen. Now the Caro Pen is a funky little number. The cap doubles as a loop that can slide onto your keyring, so you'll always be equipped with a pen whether you need to write down somebody's phone number or you come up with a brilliant business idea. It doesn't matter if your phone's dead, it's ready to go whenever you are. The pen comes in brass, stainless steel, and black PVD coated stainless steel. Of the Aris Sling, Craig Hill says that it's small enough to limit your carry options, so no more laptop, but generously proportioned enough that you can take the things that you need, so hello water bottle. It's made from nylon with rubberized mesh handling. It's water resistant and has an interior zippered pouch and an exterior zippered pocket. The Aris Sling comes in black, golden rod, which is the best color name that I've ever heard as well as Moss. Bellroy have had a huge month of new releases and restocks, as well as the long-awaited Apex Note sleeve. Stay tuned, video coming soon. They've also released the light laptop sleeve, the light pouch duo, the Tokyo work bag, the classic Weekender 45 liter, and a restock of the Sling Mini Miram. And then they've released the Karen Singh and Bellroy collaboration in the form of a tech kit capsule with customizable iron-on artwork patches. Now the capsule is super cool and kind of cutesy. It's something different and playful from Bellroy and I'm all for carry companies having a bit of fun. Why so serious? Rushfaster favorite Black Ember continues to update their product line with Cordura Recore RN66. That's the recycled Cordura fabric. Black Ember have also released new magnetic accessories. These include a Magfold wallet, magnetic key leash, and magnetic key ring. It's great to see Black Ember building out its ecosystem of accessories that are all compatible with each other. Sustainable sunglasses company Sunski is rolling out a new product line starting with sling bags. The type one fun sling is sustainably made with recycled polyester. Now this raw material is given color pigment before it's melted and spun into fibers, which means that there's no water wasted or nasty chemicals needed. The bag is adjustable in length, equipped with zippered pockets to carry everything that you need and is currently available in three colors, yellow, sage, and sand. It features a secret back zipper pocket for your most valued items, special padded front zippered pockets for your sunglasses, of course, and a keychain loop to keep your keys nice and secure. Slings are having a moment, and this is a fun, easy breezy option. Nightcore has released the BP23 multifunctional commuter backpack, a 600D polyester 23 liter pack with four compartments, a large main compartment with high-vis orange lining and seven internal sections for lots of organization, and three external quick access compartments. There are plenty of features on the BP23, including molly, hook and loop for patches, side handles for versatile carry options, and straps for mounting all sorts of accessories. It's classic nightcore, and I love external access pockets on a commuter pack. It just makes so much sense, like if you're on the train or you're going from your car to your office, just being able to like grab keys and sunglasses and wallets, it's what you need. All right, high performance travel equipment manufacturer from Boulder, Colorado, Matador, have released the new Beast 28 Helium. It's a special edition ultralight version of the brand's award-winning Beast 28 ultralight technical backpack. It's only 22 ounces, which, if I just quickly convert that for people that don't use ounces, it's only 623 Grams. Anyway, the Beast 28 Helium is one of the lightest frame packs on the market, shaving weight from the Beast 28's original design while still offering durable and agile frame engineering for technical outdoor pursuits. It's constructed from a 70D ultra-high molecular weight polyurethane with uh, reinforced nylon ripstop. Now this is a fabric with a strength to weight ratio that is many times greater than steel, so it's strong stuff. It maintains the original Beast 28's unique flexible frame suspension, providing support um, and, and torsion for movement while still allowing the bag to pack down small for travel. In addition to the fabric upgrade, Matador has added polyurethane coating, YKK sealing zippers, and tweaked the bag's aesthetic. With blacked out logo, reflective paracord exterior zipper pulls, and firehouse red interior zipper pulls. Other features include an internal hydration sleeve, two oversized water bottle pockets, a removable hip belt, and an adjustable sternum strap. Matador are one of the best in the game, so if you're after a lightweight adventure pack, 
this one's worth checking out. The one-man operation out of Manchester, UK, Ancoats has released the domestic ops tote. It builds on Ancoats four-way tote with some additional features in the vein of like a mil-spec kind of tote. Still a very clean design language. The fabric they've used is Multicam Black X-Pack 50. So it definitely has that uh, urban assault feel. Now this version of the pack includes Fidlock magnetic buckles as standard, YKK AquaGuard zips, and the lining is a reversed Cordura 500D in orange. All the webbing on the tote is official mil-spec multicam black. On the back, there are additional accessory webbing strips. It's designed to allow an increased number of uses and functionality for the tote. There's attachment points, lash points, accessory loops, piggyback possibilities. Now, John of Ancoats, who I've been emailing with a little bit, tells me that there's only enough material to make 10 of these and he's already sold four. So there are six left. If you want one, get in quickly. That's it for November. I hope you found this video useful. There are details of everything I've mentioned below in the description. If you purchase using one of those links, it goes a long way to supporting the work that we do here at Rush Faster, so we do appreciate that. We'll be back on December 1 with the next installment of the Rush Faster Roundup, but in the meantime, we'll have plenty of other great carry content coming at you. If you're in the mood for some now, you can head over to our page and check out all the videos that myself, Zach and Theo have been pumping out recently. There's some good ones there. Until the next one, I have been Roland from Rush Faster and this has been the November Carry Roundup. Take care.